What is up you guys? Welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. So for today, I wanted to give you guys a quick little, you know, story time. It's funny because mainly my channel grew off of me, I guess, telling story times, but for the past year or so, ain't nothing eventful really goes on. So, and I don't want to be the one to sit here and over exaggerate any altercation or just something that comes my way. So until something gnarly happens, you're gonna wait. But today I got some stuff cause uh, a few nights ago I had a pretty shitty experience with sleep paralysis and I kind of wanted to talk about that cause I just find the whole concept pretty interesting to say the least. For those of you again who don't know what sleep paralysis is, just long story short, it's when and your brain wakes up before your body so you know you're mentally conscious but you just you can't really move i also don't know if lucid dreaming has to do or be linked with sleep paralysis but for some reason for me at least they go hand in hand and again lucid dreams too for those who don't know it's just pretty much when you're in the realm of sleep you have control over your dream so you know any and everything you do you physically are aware beforehand instead of it just happening on its own because you're dreaming or asleep or whatever the fuck i wanted to kind of backpedal a second and give you guys a preface as to why I think all of this took place. It's all really a weird chain of events and I don't know, I just felt like sharing them. So here you guys go. Also, if you're new, subscribe. <laughs> So recently, within the past week and a half, almost two weeks, I went from working a part-time job to now a full-time job. With the part-time work, I was definitely trying to maintain balance in YouTube out, but with this full-time job, it's even more of a strategic pattern on how I could really balance the two out, if that makes sense. So with getting this new job, I went from working a 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. part-time shift to now a 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. full-time shift. I know some of y'all looking at me like, what the fuck? But hey, it just, I, it gotta be done. But no, I definitely believe that just me transitioning into those types of hours really made me have to adapt to my sleep schedule that much more extremely. Because before that, I was being so head ass. Like I'd go to bed two, three o'clock in the morning. Like I knew how much free time I had in advance. So I was wasting it accordingly. That's really not smart. It is what it is. So within the last week, I've just had the shittiest sleep pattern. And with going to sleep and forcing myself to go to sleep, it just has not been really good for me. I just start crying. So about three nights ago, I had actually a chain of events occur before the initial sleep paralysis actually took place. It was a normal day at the new job and I got home at around 4 p.m. and I decided to take a nap. Now with me and naps, I really don't time them. Like I never really set a timer, but I kind of just sleep and naturally wake up at a certain time. This night, for some reason, I went to bed at around 6 p.m. and woke up at midnight. Now usually if I'm getting a certain amount of sleep and I don't feel tired, naturally I would just kind of stay up and waste more of my time or either start editing videos or just do whatever because I'm awake but I felt just really good and I didn't really feel like getting up so I was like you know what I'll just roll over go right back to sleep set the timer for you know whatever time I have to get up and that's that so now I go back to sleep now it's around like what 12 12 15 I don't necessarily remember it was midnight though for sure this is when I started to roll over into what I believe was lucid dreaming for me I remember three instances explicitly sort of before the whole uh, sleep paralysis really set in. They're kind of off and on, but I'm going to give you as much detail as I can. Chain of events that took place. This is when I realized that I was asleep indeed and that I was in control of any and everything that I did. For some reason I was in outer space and, you know, just something was after me. I don't remember what that something was, but I was definitely in a very heavy defense mode. And again, no reason as to why. And I'm talking, if I wanted to imagine something, it appeared right on the spot and, you know, I'm able to defend myself. So any sort of superpowers or or like you see Dragon Ball Z with all the like I was just like really in that mode. I don't know, it was crazy. The second event that took place, it started to like slowly get darker. I vividly remember this. I was behind a glass wall, almost as if I was like a prison coast guard or just, you know, the officers that would sit behind the glass and kind of just watch prisoners down below, say if they were like in a cafeteria. I was behind this wall, glass wall, and I'm literally sitting there watching a few of my friends, like who I know whose faces they are, like to this day in person. I'm watching them. There's a conveyor belt of like poisonous food coming towards them and I'm seeing the labels on this food but the labels were flipped backwards facing me as they were going back so they couldn't see them but I did and when I realized this I was banging on the glass I started banging on the glass super hard trying to get their attention like hey don't eat that you'll fucking die like I was losing my mind and they nope nobody could hear me so it was just body dropping after dropping after dropping and this is actually when it started rolling over into the third dream that just for me really hit home because i it just it fucked me up i don't know the third dream for me for some reason i was in a dark room all the lights were off i'm talking almost pitch black i was with 
say two or three friends. Um, I'm not gonna say their names or anything. We were in this room talking, laughing, doing whatever, conversing. I'm just minding my own business at this point. And for some reason, I feel somewhat of a dark figure on my right side. I don't know if it was an aura of just dark energy, a physical person who were just rubbing up against me. At this point, I kind of tell everyone, be quiet. I'm just, I'm feeling such dark energy next to me and I have no idea why. <laughs> So I stop and turn to my right and ask. I was in such a good mood, I don't know. I was like, hey, you know, who are you? And then the deepest voice, I kid you not, the deepest voice that I've ever heard in my life, but I could still detect what they said. It's just like, it's Satan. And immediately after that, I open my eyes. Now, I'm oh, fuck. I'm in a point where I'm just staring at my closet light. Yeah, I sometimes sleep with my closet light on. It's, lo it's kind of soothing, I don't know, I just do it. I'm opening my eyes and just staring at my closet. Lights on, I realize I'm in my room. Okay, it's just a dream but oops I can't move this is where the sleep paralysis really started to set in for me and it really sucks because any experience I've ever had with this shit I literally am 100% consciously aware and I can't do anything about it because I'm fucking just passed out in my bed so what I feel like was an eternity but actually ended up being around 45 or so minutes I'm just back and forth between closing my eyes trying to just sleep it off but still repeating that same incident that woke me up of the it's Satan right next to me so that didn't work so every time I would open my eyes and I knew this too I heard I was reading articles like a long time ago you have to wiggle like the smallest tendons in your body and it slowly just wakes you up what felt like me trying that with all my might I just could not move to save my life i'm sitting here literally just almost in such a panic mode if that makes sense and i don't know if you guys have ever heard of like this white static i'm not really sure how to put it into words but like if you've ever played a game like call of duty anytime you get hit with like a flash bomb you'll get like that deafening of the ears sound the little like i don't know how to explain it but that was going on inside my head but the thing was anytime i would try to move or somewhat escape i don't know how you want to put it it would just get louder and louder and louder to the point where i just was there like i was just existing in this dream state slash i'm trying to get the fuck up state and nothing was going on and i was petrified so all this time passes which again almost 45 minutes to me what it felt like i was just there trying to either go back to sleep or wake up but i couldn't move go back to sleep Fuck that dream, wake up, still couldn't move. And I don't know, I really gave up on the whole trying to wiggle my fingers and everything because it just would not work. And what, again, seemed like me trying my hardest, just it wasn't working at all. Like it fucking sucked. And I'm not sure if this whole thing kind of naturally wore out, but I ended up just kind of really waking up and being able to move. And at this point, I'm sweating profusely, fucking gross, just in the, in the sheets. I roll over, I check my phone, and it is now 3.23. So from around midnight to 3.23, just going through a chain of events of just random dreams in which the first I had control over, to me that was my lucid dream because I was able to really consciously defend myself in the dream and I felt like I had complete control over any and everything, which is cool. But then this shit rolls over and happens and I'm like, mm -hmm. so I check the time, I end up rolling completely over. And again, I'm in this whole paralyzed state. I'm fully aware that I can't move my damn body and it just didn't affect me. I've had this happen before wasn't as dark as this but it just doesn't really scare me it just it really fucks with your mind for a split second or messes with we gotta keep the monetization so yeah i roll over i end up falling back asleep nothing happens no scary dreams no none of that i wake up around my time to get headed to work or get ready to head to work i end up talking to my dad about this i call him i let him know i'm like hey i just had some crazy shit happen to me and you know he's listening he's like dude i've never had anything as close to that happen to you i know that must suck real big time he's like all of my dreams i'm either golfing with tiger woods or watching this jaws movie Movie or just he was super happy about his and I'm like congratulations well that did not work for your boy but again I don't know I just find this stuff extremely interesting because I know some people have never and maybe will never experience something like this and then others it might even happen as good as a consistent nightly basis but for me it doesn't happen for like a few years and then all of a sudden I just sleep wrong and I wake up and just can't move again it sucks doesn't really affect my day too much but for some reason this was really dark and 
and it threw my entire day off. You know, I'm doing my work, normal schedule, and I just didn't want to talk. I didn't want to converse with anybody. It was just that. I'm fine physically, not hurt, not mentally damaged, not none of that. But again, this is just such a weird phenomenon. And I don't know if any of you have ever had anything remotely similar to the experience I had. Let me know in the comments. I actually want to read through this stuff because it's super interesting to me. Again, I know some people have no idea what I'm talking about. I mean, you can Google it if you really want to. But if you guys did or at least had the experience with the sleep paralysis, again, let me know if you feel comfortable. I'll go ahead and read them. Again, this, I don't know, this shit's cool. I actually, around two months ago, had an, another experience with sleep paralysis, but it wasn't crazy enough for me to make a story time or really put my energy into that. I just remember being asleep, woke up, couldn't move for like a few seconds, and then I kind of just eased out of it, almost like my body came out of my body, and then I was just up, and I was like, what the fuck, did I just have sleep paralysis? Like, you know, that conscious effort of you knowing is what really creeps me out, because it's like, you can't do a thing about it. You're just there. Like, I'm just a... A busted ass piece of tomato just sitting on the concrete and just no one picks it up i'm just there but that's gonna be it for me um hopefully you guys enjoyed this if you want new content like this make sure to like and subscribe not this per se but the whole story times again nothing eventful happens if it happens i'll hook you guys up if not not my fault i don't know <laughs> but hopefully you guys enjoyed this um if it was a little bit too dark i apologize but hey it is what it is makes for good content i guess mm, be careful with your words but that's gonna be it for me until next time and i will see you guys in the next video bye